Hello students, in today's video we shall discuss example number 1 of chapter 7 triangles and this is on page number 87. In figure 7.8, this is given as 7.8 in the textbook, figure 7.8, OA is equal to OB, O, this is, this point is O, OA is equal to OB, to show that we will put this kind of small vertical things, okay, so OA is equal to OB, that is what is given. OA equals to OB. OD is equal to OC. OD is equal to OC. So we will put two bars because here we put one. So now we will put two bars. OD is equal to OC. This is what is given to us. Show that triangle AOD. AO D is congruent to this sign is uh, the symbol is of congruence triangle BOC BOC so AOD is congruent to BOC and second part is AD is parallel to BC AD is parallel to BC this is what we need to prove so this is already given to us and since angle AOD and angle BOC, they form a pair of vertically opposite angles. So angle AOD is equal to angle BOC and the reason you can write is vertically opposite angles. So whenever two lines intersect, like here AB and CD intersecting. So the angles formed here, one pair of vertical opposite angles here and one pair here. These are always equal. So this is equal to this angle. So now we got this side equal to this one, OC equal to OD and this angle is equal to this angle. So side angle side. So according to the side angle side, congruence rule these two triangles are congruent so triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOC be careful to write the same order don't change the order AOD and then don't write COB that would be incorrect so if you're starting from AOD it should be BOC the corresponding angles so now these two triangles are congruent by the SAS, side angle side rule. This you must have already learned that when two sides and one angle which is in between these two sides of two triangles are same, then those two triangles are congruent. So according to that, these two are equal. Now since these two triangles are congruent, the corresponding parts, that means the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles are also equal, which means that this angle here is equal to this angle OAD is equal to OBC angle OAD is equal to angle OBC. And the reason you can write here is CPCT. CPCT means corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are always equal. Like these two angles are equal. These two angles are equal. These two sides are equal. Okay. So these two are equal. And these two angles are alternate interior angles. If you see it is forming a Z like this. Z. So alternate interior angles which means that AD is parallel to BC. Therefore AD is parallel to BC. So we got the proof of the first one that is triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOC and also AD is parallel to BC. And well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.